Hello, good day everyone and uh, welcome again to one of our recorded Let's Play sessions here in Stellaris. So you can just call me the uh, Furry Archivist. I believe this is the first time that I'll be showing myself visually in this gameplay. And uh, yeah, um, uh, I'm kind of excited and anxious at the same time because uh, <laughs> I never show my face. But uh, yeah, I'm technically showing my face in the sense that I am in... Uh, you know cosplay right now i'm on, on my scp cosplay so uh it's been quite a while since i played the uh, stellaris i think it's about a month or two now and i think i need to finish the story of course of the uns and we're now i think on our 14th episode of this uh on this series and i'm planning to you know finish the story and at the same time um make an episode out of it um like I said, it's just that uh, I, my work was just side uh, sidetracked for the moment because of my, uh, you know, personal work, overseas work to be specific. So, uh, yeah. Um, so we got sidetracked. So for now, we're going to continue on where we left off on episode 14. So uh, I guess let's begin on our gameplay. Of course, as a rule, I will keep this uh, gameplay on, uh, what do you call this, uh, on 30 minutes. So we're going to save our gameplay here for 30 minutes. Oh, okay, I'm just going to pause this one for a second. So right now, uh, we're currently in the aftermath of a war from uh, an ancient power, which is the uh, an ancient uh, empire here, the Uri Remnant. So we'll just uh, check the slave market here. Okay, so I guess there's uh, nothing much to uh, tell right now. Um, okay, Unity Empire has joined the Galactic Community. That is interesting. Uh, yeah, right. So currently I'm still getting used to, uh, you know, to my gameplay right now because, uh, you know, I haven't played this for uh, quite a while. So anyway, what's this? The Broken Gates, the final layer. As soon as the final gate opens up, waves of intense psionic energy washed upon our scientists. Most of them collapsed in apparent agony, leaving only a few to make their way to the actual layer itself. It seems to be a large temple with a massive dials or altar in the middle of it. All across the walls there are huge diagrams of different star systems and a repeated one seems to center on the s um, now it off itself. Making their way closer to the middle, a few scientists that remain would find its fact imposing machine position in the form of an old altar. Oh, sorry, altar. So let us tinker with this machine and see what we can find. Yeah, I guess that's the reasonable thing. Okay, the elder one. What's this? I haven't encountered this, uh, to be honest. Uh, this is the first time. I mean, I've been playing Stellaris for quite some time now, to be honest, but this is the first one I've encountered it. As they start tinkering the machine, they are suddenly beset by a shared auditory hallucination, a screaming command by something to be unearthed. Unshackled, visions of a creature ripping apart the now it off system plays over and over in their heads, and the creature demands grow shriller several of the scientists fall unconscious unable to deal with the unbeating torrents of psionic pain that rock their bodies hmm eldritch horror movies are now it off system now it off system incoming treasure change hostility to neutral okay we don't know this one however let me take a look which area is this system. Now with our system, it's in the middle of... Well, it's far in the edges of the side, in the border. Huh. Now it off. Okay, well... This is really a, a very difficult decision, to be honest. I could, you know, for the safety of security, I could just rip apart the machine. But an Eldritch Horror will be released in the system. Let's try this out uh, one by one, uh, shall we? Uh, let's see it. Uh, okay. Okay, there's an Eldritch Horror here, but what kind of Eldritch Horror? Oh, Jesus Christ, what's that? We just blew off a system here. 
Uh-huh. Now this is something. It nearly destroyed a star system. Okay, so uh the UNS Fahrenheit with Ludimila Kamarov just uh made a very very uh Inbound message traffic. Uh, you know, a very, very uh, discovery here <laughs> that destroyed the now in our system. Ah, Associated Sons, uh, Eurydite Explorers. This is something that we should uh, take a look upon personally. Okay, uh, okay, let's agree. I don't think that would cause any harm. Oh, so they're just related near here. Okay, um, I'm just gonna pause this one for a second. Okay, what's this? Uh, no video. Finally, bow down, mortals. Grovel before me. I shall grant you protection and wisdom. Boast me and you shall be your end. Uh, no, why the hell would we bow with this guy? No, no, no. We're not gonna bow to anything. You have chosen death. Well, that was very intimidating. Science ship reports enemy contact. Oh, God. Okay, so I'll just make a story about that. That the uh, uh, the scientist Lumija Kamarov died with the explosion, with the uh, discovered uh, Eldritch Horror. Unfortunately, there is. Uh, how strong is this one? Hundred percent. Unfortunately, there's no nearby fleets here. Um, the nearest we got is the Dreadnought, the second fleet actually, uh, which is more like a uh, Rixum system. Okay, uh, yeah. Sorry, I'm just getting used to the system right now, so uh, I should have played some earlier, uh, uh, what do you call this? Uh, uh, earlier game here as a practice. Okay, um... Alright, so for now we're gonna do this. So right now, uh, we have a system here, a relic world. Since this is already initially surveyed, the only thing I need right now is... Okay, I've already directed UNS Indus here just to claim this one. We need this relic, to be honest. Uh, Trashtrakova. Um, probably have to recruit a scientist here. Uh, Manon Palliser would be nice. So we just have to uh, go a little bit of the research project in this system. Okay, New Slovakia. We'll see what we got here. We got a lot of uh, districts here. It's a nice uh, world, uh, but uh, needs to be terraformed because uh, it has a high gravity. There's 25, very nice, uh, with the resources. There are some, uh, oh, what's this? New Bahrain. Okay, so for now it's still peace time because uh, we just made peace with the, uh, you know, the Uri remnant. Um, for now, um, the thing that we would do right now is at least build our forces. Uh, the third UNS fleet needs to be uh, reinforced. Okay. Uh, well, New Singapore's uh, on your orbital stations here has already been uh, finished. So uh, let's see what we have here. Hmm. Okay. Uh, well, crew quarters would be nice, and we could also upgrade this one. Um, unfortunately, we don't have minerals, but uh, uh, let me take a look on New Singapore here. Uh -huh. Okay, so I'm just going to change the angle of my uh, camera here. Um, make it more uh, personal, or at least uh, more up close. <laughs> Okay, so there we go. Um, right, so what do we have here? Hmm. Okay, well, uh, we have uh, the main shipyard in New Singapore with the Nicomonopolis thing. 
so uh, honestly uh, I think yeah, I think I should have uh, put up the Mega Giga Mall or something or the uh, how was this? A real shield generator. I haven't heard of that. But anyway, it's a number one shipyard. So, Fenhabara system, the new... S uh, of course, this uh, system is mostly an arcology. Uh, very good. Uh, probably the center of our uh, industrial heart of the UNS. Okay, uh, right now, I'm just gonna rearrange my fleet here. Fortunately, my fleets are in a mess. The first UNS fleet is the nearest we got here. Probably we'll have to dispatch it just to fight this Eldritch Horror thing. Oh my god. Oh yeah, of course. So it'll take quite a long walk here, about 919 days. That's about a several years, unfortunately. Um, Okay, it's already at full strength. Okay, well that's okay. Um, the second fleet... Hmm. Okay, so I'll probably send my... Um, uh, my... Uh, uh, what do you call this? Federation... The... the uh, what do you call this? The four, four next Union fleet uh, to this area. So I guess I figured it would be more, uh, you know, so all fleets, well, four next Union fleets here will have to rendezvous in, in the uh, Dorfiel system. Uh, God, we have so many fleets here. So I'll just bear in mind here that uh, I have to uh, keep a save every 30 minutes. Oh wait, wait. What? No, Colts Point won't. Oh yeah, no, it's a Federation. Uh, okay, no, my bad with that. Okay, um. Oh god. Uh. Where was he? Okay. The shore, second fleet, uh. Okay, so I guess that's it. Just have to put this one on automatic. Backs. Okay, so we got several uh, systems here. Oh god, I probably have to revamp the fleet manager as well. Um, third UNS fleet is still making its way. So this one I have to uh, rename this to uh, second UNS fleet. Second. You know, the government here, story-wise, is still fearing sore about what happened on the last war with the Uri Remnant because, uh, you know, they should have uh, won, but due to contract obligations by the mercenary force, they were forced to, uh, you know, kind of abandon their post right now. Now, my main purpose, or I mean, my main uh, thing here is, uh, you know, how are we going to solve that part? So... Uh, it's very evident that the uh, foreign or the UNS cannot maintain a private military fleet due to contract obligations, so they have to raise a national army or national navy or armed forces, what you call it. Anyway, in the meantime, um, hmm, we need a new world here that has. Uh, uh, I'll probably have to construct a, a resource silo here, just to, uh, uh, you know, uh, this one is still colonizing. So, okay, um, so we're just going to take it slow with a slow speed here, because, um, uh, I don't know, story-wise, I uh, still had to uh, catch up. But anyway, my gameplay here is show, showing now a, a huge slowdown, even though the size of the map is just large. So, uh, there we go. Uh huh. I'm still waiting for my uh, fleets here to be uh, reassembled. Probably we'll have to. Uh, oh god, there's. 
Okay, I'm just gonna go for fastest just to uh, catch up with the uh, you know dates here. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, what's this? The artisan troop. Esteemed General Secretary Claude Jabecker. I think it go even blah 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 blah. Okay, well 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 uh, I guess we'll go for a deal. It's gonna give us the negative five thousand credits, but uh, uh engaging enemy station. Wait. Okay, well met. What's this? Ah, uh, relics. Uh, this is something. Uh, celebrate diversity. We could gain a unity with this one. Museum. Um, you know, I would love to, but, uh, oh, what's this? Oh, a pirate fleet from Braxis Union. Oh, great. Right, right, right. We're also suffering from, uh, piracy thing. Okay, so the second unit's fleet and the sixth fleet the corvettes are on their way to suppress those anti-piracy things. Okay, I guess they're on to uh, anti-piracy business. Um, not gonna argue with that. Fleet oh. lost. Oh God. All right. So uh, that was a very. Uh, okay, resource storage is full. So we're gonna sell a few more. Uh, food here just to uh and here we're just gonna buy right um i'm gonna go for fleet manager i think uh the second unit's fleet needs a little bit of reinforcements or the third here okay what uh, a new world has been secured for our colonists okay let's pause that one what world ah Comanopolis. Okay, so I have to um, rename this one. It's, it's supposed to be designated as a monopolis, but uh, my civics here, or traditions here, um, well, I could have a Gaia world, which is good, but we can't opt for a... Uh, hmm, okay, uh... What's a nice name for a, a heavily industrialized uh, nation? Hmm. We got New Japan anyway, so uh, how about uh, hmm? We got New Brazil, New Norway, New Europa. Oh, Mesopotamia. I should rename that. Um, Okay, do we got New Brazil or something? New Iran, New Italy, New Slovakia, New France, um, New Spain, I guess. Yeah, well, we're going to go for Spanish anyway. So, uh, that's going to be a good thing for us. So, since this is going to be a heavy industrialized area, it's going to be an industrialized world. Um, industrial world. Industrial world is very basically uh, more like a mid tier, but I think it will be more prosperous if it's, uh, f it's a forge world. Then, one, two, three, four. So, we're not going to overbuild with this one. Uh, right. Base, uh, Otokyan. Yeah, I think I'll go for Otokyan Monument. Uh, right, so that should keep things, uh, a little bit in order. So it's gonna be an industrialized or forge world, um, yeah, just to cope up with our alloy production. Uh, we need a lot of uh, alloys lately. Unfortunately, uh, what I got right now is a uh, terrestrial, uh, you know, a new Gaia Worlds. Uh, we got... Okay, so this two are going to be a prison and uh, a prison in, uh, what do you call this? 
What's this? this is Gaia World. Okay, one will be a prison and one will be a resort world in the middle of this. So for now, we're still having some slowdown. Oh, we got a holdings and git. Okay, so uh, mostly this uh, we're currently overlords of this. Uh, okay. So we got several, uh... Oh, what's this? Right, uh... So for now, the Fornax Union is basically doing well in its, uh... You know, uh... In its, uh... In its, uh... Internal politics in the Fornax Galaxy. Um... Yeah, um... Okay, well, so how's about the science thing? 21 months to unlock dark matter reactor. Uh, this is basically reverse engineered from the Uri remnants So it uh, might take quite a while to uh, uh, You know figure things out. We got the uh, Hypercon forums for inbound message traffic. Oh, what's this? All right, so the Uri Republic. Oh, this is basically the uh, uh, Puppet government that we set in the middle of uh, Okay, the Krypton Company, it's a mercenary fleet. So, uh... Really, where are you? Is this still paramount? Yeah, of course. Well, we give them a... Yeah, everything's doing well with them. Uh, we're our overlords here. And, uh... Basically, first speakers of Sarsdale. Hmm. So they're basically part of a new uh, republic of the uh, Fornax Union. Okay, so this is something. Third Union's fleet. Okay, wh wh where's my first fleet? They're supposed to be. Uh, they're supposed to be uh, on en route to the. Uh, Oh, this is something. Uh, Spaceport reports enemy contact. Yes, 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 of course. Third UNS fleet. So uh, everything's supposed to be en route here. Uh, Starfleet. Oh, what the hell with this? Oh god, this this uh, pirates in the Braxis system is really trashing a lot of guys. So we got a 32 fleet, and uh, I don't know, it's taking them 139 days. Oh yes, of course, the main reason was because our ships aren't upgraded from the uh, armor here, and basically the uh, thruster, so um, yeah, we still have to wait for the reactors and the uh, propulsion system. Unfortunately, it will take a while for the UNS, given that the complexity of the uh, Uri remnant technology or the foreign remnant uh, technology to be uh, more complicated. So. Inbound message traffic. <laughs> <sighs> well, human fish should not be prisoners. Well, while well, we could... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we could go for um, migration treaty would be nice, but they may sell off humans as slaves. Oh well, we could go. Just have to keep in mind that the rights of uh, humans here. Okay, so immigration controls enable. Okay, that's good. That's okay, we can uh, actually uh, go with the uh, immigration as long as it's not humans. So humans will still remain on the UNS border. Now for the laws, uh, since the, uh, the Fornax Union is still uh, pretty much very new, uh, it's not really, uh, you know, the growth isn't exactly that uh, good right now. Oh yeah, of course, story-wise, just to tell, the Fornax Union is basically a self-styled extra-galactic uh, human uh, union. Uh, basically, they mostly copied it on the European Union, or the present-day European Union. Uh, or the European Union of Old Earth. So, uh, yeah. 
it's a hegemony yeah to be specific but uh here it's a military alliance unfortunately i can't change it to uh trade league i should have changed it to trade Fleet league. action underway but unfortunately i am not getting any uh uh you know i'm not getting any uh so okay we got oh god Yes, yes, of course. But the nearest one we got here is the second UNS fleet. Home base should be. Um, well, we go for Rasalgi. Hmm. Okay, we got the Fornax Union fleet doing their thing. Uh, unfortunately, we haven't. Uh, yeah, we still need to uh, yeah activate some gateways here. Unfortunately, there's a disabled gateway that we need to activate, and we don't have the credits for it. But we do have now, so we're just gonna activate this one anyway. So there we go. That should give us uh, some sort of far-reaching. Uh, now in the meantime, here's the thing, uh, we should have an outpost here, but unfortunately it requires 844. Not a very good uh, influential uh, points that we have right now, will take some time. Uh, oh okay, uh, hyper relay, they got some hyper relays here. Okay, so for now, uh, yeah. Um, we're not going to declare war again with the Uri Remnant. Uh, for now, they're still angry and sore about it, but uh, we're probably going to unify this one. We need allies to fight the, uh, you know, the UNS uh, more like governmental pol policies that we need to absorb or it's in a period of expansion, whether this expansion is legal or not. It uh, entirely depends on the story, but right now they need to unify the Fornax Union against the impending threat. It's not sure. I haven't. Uh, I just put on the uh, Galactic Crisis here to random, so it could either be the uh, you know the Swarm uh, Crisis, the Unbiden, or um, oh sorry, I just <laughs> I just uh, forgot because I didn't play this one for so long and uh, I kind of get out of touch because I was busy with my uh, you know real life work uh, what do you call this Praetorian Swarm yeah it could either be the Praetorian Swarm the Unbiden or some other uh, extra galactic uh, or it could be the computer uh, AI rebellion so uh, so for now uh, the Pirates of the Brow Axis is being a thorn right now, headed by Hu Yang. So, uh, uh, given with the ancient tech that we have here, uh, we're still having some problems with the, uh, you know, trying to reach the area. Even the six fleet uh, is. Oh, sorry. No, I was waiting for the whole time and I did not know that it was paused. Okay, that was my bad. Okay, we got the Prevent Company. Yeah, we got several companies here, mercenary fleets. Um, how's your patron? Uh, no, we can't recall fleets. I'll just rent them for a while. Well, we got four mercenary fleets anyway. Mm-hmm. We were... Okay, well, uh... We wish to rent the fleet, of course. It's a deal. So for now, we got our, uh... What's this? Uh... We got a mercenary fleet here. The Dragon Spearhead, if I recall correct. So we got the whole fleet here, uh, waiting for action right now. So we're now entering. Okay, we gotta capture this one for the scene, for the battle scenes. 
So as you can see, we have some uh, mini amoebas flying around on the uh, carrier groups of the UNS. Actually, these are cloned amoebas from uh, from. Uh, Okay, I'm just gonna save this one now, just for the sake of, uh... Oh, great. Okay, I'm just gonna pause this one for a second, because we're gonna save this one. We, we, this will be UNS episode 14, so uh, just give me a moment here. UNS episode... UNS episode 14A. So, uh... There we go, and I am going to save it, this one, on my, um, uh, I'm gonna save this one on my, uh, OBS. Okay, there we go, I've already saved that on OBS, so, uh, uh, let's continue on what we're doing here. So, you, you know, I had to, um, I had to save this one because, uh, uh, I had to save every 30 minutes just to be sure because of, uh, okay, let's continue. I have to save it every 30 minutes because, uh, uh, what do you call this? Um, uh, because there's a possibility my computer might hang. I still haven't buy that, uh, Steam or any other, uh, upgrade in my PC here. Okay, so it seems that we're gonna get rid of the pirate, uh, much sooner. But anyway, uh, where was I? Oh yeah, uh, we have some uh, space amoeba uh, as fighters here because it's part of the uh, UNS program to assimilate uh, Xenos on the, uh, you know, on the UNS military. As you can see, uh, well, story-wise, each uh, UNS carrier has some sort of a space amoeba pen. It's more like a similar to a fighter. Uh, uh, a fighter uh, fighting alongside with a dog or a space dog. Oh, what the hell happened here? Okay, so there we go. That's a good scene. So, okay, we've already got rid of that space pirate. And, uh... Okay, um, I'm just gonna pause this one. Um, probably I need a rallying point for my uh, military here. So probably, uh, since I got some several militaries here, I'll have to, uh, you know, rally them somewhere. Okay, I'll uh, probably have to put them to New Singapore. That's the main rallying point of any UNS army or UNS ground forces. Okay, what are we? Tons of, uh, yeah, Fen Habanis will be the rallying point for soldiers. So we also got several soldiers here. Okay, so I guess that's, uh, that's a good to go. Okay. So we're just gonna centralize and consolidate all our military ground forces units. In here... Complete. Okay, well, very, very good. So we'll continue our expansion here and around this area. In the meantime, this is a relic world, we're gonna colonize it. So I just have to name a second world here. Um, a center of trade. Uh, New Washington would be nice. Construction complete. Wait, 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 let me... Okay, uh... Hmm. We've got New Singapore. Um, um, okay, I'm just thinking. Um, we got New Canada. Um, you know, it should be a well-known, uh, well-known place for, uh, for industries. Um, okay, uh, we got New Germany. If this isn't Germany, 
Okay, uh, I'm sure there's no new New Germany here or something. Or Germany name hasn't been selected yet. Yeah, I'm gonna name this one New Germany. New Germany, okay? Mm -hmm. So New Germany and New Singapore will be the industrialized centers of... Uh, or the industrial heart of the UNS. Mm -hmm. So obviously this one will be probably the uh, consumer goods uh, like monopolis which is uh, I'm, let me check the sector here oh, okay so it's gonna be an independent sector from the looks of it yeah okay that's okay with me if uh, okay uh, right now Okay, let me take a look at here. Uh, the piece here will last until 2367, so we still got a long thing here. So for now, uh, everything's here is uh, totally quiet. Okay, there we go. Um, I think we should... Uh, Huh, Ascension Perks. I don't know if we're still eligible for Ascension Perks, but we got anyway a World Shaper. So, uh, it's a Gaia world. Um, okay, let me check the population. So, for now, our still population is around a thousand Science now. Science report success. Okay. Uh, okay, construction template. Oh, wait. Oh god, well, uh, where was I? We could do the Mega Cannon, Army Torpedoes... I think we could sh we should go for the uh, Dark Matter Propulsion. We kinda need that. For our ships to be faster and... Uh, yeah, okay, so we're, we're really taking our time here uh, in addressing the uh, Eldritch Horror. Uh -huh. Oh, and uh, since we have a uh, vacant, uh, oh, got a trade. Um, I think we have to. Yeah, I think I'll go for uh, sector mode uh, because uh, I'm still kind of getting used to this. Uh, I'm still trying to familiarize myself with this. Yeah, I'll probably have to upgrade this. Um, Okay, I'm just gonna go for um, for a new science ship. Yeah, for now I'm gonna go for si uh, for a sector mode so I can clearly, uh, you know, uh, what's this ruin century? We're we're not gonna go through that because you know, science nexus would be nice. How could propel us? Okay. Inbound message traffic. Okay, uh, the Fellow Kingdom is extending its form of research. Yeah, we could agree with them. They're kind of friendly anyway. So the Fellow Kingdom, despite being another superpower in the eastern side of the Gephornax galaxy, um, is, uh, you know, extending its friendly. So we're not Science exactly indirectly rival with them. So they're very cooperative. Uh, espionage. Option is... Yeah, we could offer a migration treaty with them. But they're not prob the problem is they're not a member of the Fornax Union, but mm, probably the Fellow Kingdom, perhaps the strongest in the eastern side of Fornax Galaxy, is, is not exactly in direct uh, threat with them or not in direct conflict. So, yeah. Um, okay, hypercoms. Uh, psionic theory. I would love to, but I'll go for the soil uh, remediation thing. So it takes only five months. So Sidron Manifold, uh, we went at war with them for some time. Uh, they're hostile, but uh, they couldn't challenge at least directly the uh, Fornax Union or in the sense specifically the UNS military. Uh, unfortunately, my uh, alloys is still abysmal at this moment. Not very good. Um, 
Midfell Enlightened Kingdom. What was this? Uh, okay, I guess that's. Construction complete. Uh huh, right. Okay. I probably have to, uh. What's this? Debris in a door system. Huh, okay, well, I'll just assign the nearest. Oh, we got several, uh. Science vessels doing their things. Oh my god. Okay, um. Well, we got the Foreign Action Union fleet. We got the Spearhead's company here, but we'll probably have to ask uh, ask them for an escort duty here. Okay, there we go. Right, so we got some several planets here at the same time that is going to be transformed to uh, uh, I don't know a Gaia world or something. Okay, uh huh. Right, uh, yeah, things are kind of a bit of slow now on my uh, part here. Mm -hmm. uh, it only means one thing: I need to upgrade my computer. Uh huh. But anyway, that's okay. We got plenty of time. I'm not rushing the episodes anyway. So. Uh, Okay, what do we got here? Hmm. So for now everything's doing good. Uh, right. Uh, okay, just so just give me a moment. I'll probably have to go to the bathroom for a while. I think it's. Uh, just give me a second. apologize about that uh, yeah well uh, I'll just continue on with this okay uh, right where were we okay uh, so we got a very busy galaxy right now at least on the eastern side you know the problem with many allies is they share intelligence information and when they share intelligence information it slows down like PC and uh, that's a problem. So we'll probably be. Oh, what the crap! What the? Okay, I'll probably have to uh, put this one here. Yeah, how about New Gibraltar? Huh, Fortress Station. Well, Ultra Robots. Hmm. Okay, well, New Gibraltar is kind of. Good. So it serves as a new Diego Garcia is okay as well. Um, we could upgrade this if I recall correct, but uh, oh, okay. Well, that's okay. Well, I guess we don't have enough. Uh, our new Canada, basically an agri world. Uh, wow, well, we're doing good here. Okay, I'm just gonna upgrade Fen Habanis or New Singapore if it's possible. I got 56k, but uh, how many do we got? 33. M uh, yeah, I think it's about time we upgrade this one. Tier 2 or Tier 3. Uh, our capital is uh, not even upgraded. 62,000. 
unity points. So, uh... So the most progressive right now, and rivals even the capital of Haven, is the new Singapore. Basically an industrialized uh, powerhouse on the uh, UNS space. Hmm. Okay, well, uh, I guess there's nothing really much I could do with that. Uh, how about the Dyson Sphere? Oh, Jesus. I've got 20,000. I should have known this one as well. Okay. Alright, uh, we're going to transform this, or at least terraform this one, to a Gaia world. So, uh, right now, we'll probably have to build a star base here. So this is the far edge sector of uh, UNS, or we could build a sector here uh, on Wanda and Savannah World. Um, um, I don't know. Maybe we could just put on a s sector here, I guess, mm -hmm. just to connect this whole area. So for now, the Uri remnant is 167. 50,000. They're not exactly in, uh... Ah, oh, great. Fifth Fleet. Uh-huh. I don't know about this one. I'll probably have to integrate this, guys. Um, Fifth Fleet. Never heard of them, to be honest. Uh, problem is, we got so many fleets here. We're, we're not even sure. So we're just gonna go uh, fifth fleet. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we have to station them here or in this one. Okay, Dragon Spear fleet is okay. So um, how about this guys? Okay, they're not uh, exactly uh, for rent right now, I guess. Okay, so we got three mercenary fleets here that are uh, actively being loaned by several nations and one active fleet right now, our mercenary fleet is the Dragon Spearhead fleet or the mercenary fleet. So that's currently the employee on the UNS. Anywhere beyond that, we'll probably have to, uh, I don't know, max out our uh, alloy production. Yeah, I'll probably have to go with the... Uh, okay, New Netherlands. Um, so what do we have here? Um, okay, we're probably gonna go for chemicals or something. So we still need... Uh, chemical plants for now. So we got some spare uh, minerals. So our economy's doing good, to be honest. New Panama is a refining world, so we got. So probably we're gonna go for crystals with this one. Okay, uh, so that should complete our uh, factory. Okay, trying to go micromanaging here. Okay, uh, right. We got two unemployed pops here for our uh, auto designation. Hmm. Well, anyway, this is the Imperial Capital, or I'm mean, not exactly Imperial Capital, this is the UNS Capital Sanctuary. So, factory, Mesopotamia. I'm not gonna name this one Mesopotamia right now. We're just gonna name this new. I don't know. Okay, Mesopotamia area. Which nations is in the Middle East? Um. We could name New Jordan. No, we have New Jordan. Uh, we got New Lebanon. Okay, Middle East. New Bahrain, I guess. Yeah, New Bahrain will be nice. Bahrain. So we just officially rename Mesopotamia as New Bahrain. So that's the new, uh, that's the official designation of UNS Worlds. It's going to be named uh, new, new and then followed by a country. Mm 
Okay, um, right, so where's my, uh, okay, um, okay, so what happened to my, uh, army here? Oh god, they're so slow. Okay. I probably have to have a huge military buildup at the same time, at least 3,000. Our military buildup here is just only 922. So the thing here is, the only solution I could think of is basically build new fortress Science worlds. Division or at least or a new breakthrough. Orbital fortress worlds. Um, star base capacity, we're not exactly on the... Yeah, we're going for star base capacity. Um, we got the star base here at Odoros. Well, what, what do you call this one? Shipyards. So the shipyard should be near you know, the capital. So we're just gonna go with the Fenhabanis or New Singapore shipyards. Aside from the world is already a shipyard, it's gonna be the star base will also be converted as a shipyard as well. Okay, new elections. Uh, I'm just gonna let them uh, do the mandate on their own. So for now, the war with the Uri remnant isn't. Uh, it's still uh, 2367. It's uh, we're now still 2359. So that's at least seven years away. Plenty of time to prepare my uh, army. However, in the meantime, I have to, um, <sighs> it's a full strength, uh, let me check here, I should have a third fleet, uh, okay, um, let me check with the fleet manager, Sparrow Hawk, uh, Okay, so we guys should have a Corvette, four Corvette class, the Tom class, and we have a Frigate, and uh, I don't know, maybe the Escort Destroyer, and then the Destroyer, and then the Maverick Cruiser class, then two Ecos battleships. Okay. Okay. So the fifth, uh, this will be officially uh, designated as fifth UNS fleet. So uh, just to avoid uh, any confusion with them, so we're gonna construct several large fleets here. Uh, I mean, uh, several uh, ships here, just to reinforce our uh, navy. Okay. So we got the. Uh, um, oh god, it's, fleet here is always a mess. Uh, huh. uh, this one's under strength as well. Uh, we got a free gate, we got a destroyer class, so... Uh, That's good. We just lack the resources right now. Okay, so pretty much it's peacetime in, uh, you know, developing the UNS military. Um, like I said, uh, we're suffering a slowdown now on our uh, gameplay because of, uh, you know, uh, because of uh, my computer is getting slow. <laughs> Probably have to replace that later on. Okay, well, we still got the Void Spawn, which is, uh, basically, uh... Okay, so, uh, Harrison Horner has been elected as the General Secretary of the United Nations of Seoul. 
So, uh, we're just gonna... So probably he's the, uh... Uh, new guy here. Um... We're gonna go for, uh, Vera Ross here. Okay, there we go. That should, uh... So a scientist has now been, uh... Elected. He's now the new general secretary. Okay, unfortunately we got 42 months with the starbase uh, capacity here. The good news is our dark matter reactor is nearly finished. Unfortunately we're still uh, far away from the, uh, um, uh, you know, any other... Uh, yeah, probably I'm suffering a lot of lag down now here. 20,000, but I don't have any mega engineering yet technology. So, uh, yeah, we're still developing a lot of stuff here. I should have uh, invested here in the uh, science upgrade. <laughs> And we got the whole uh, fleet here, uh, the second uh, fleet, already en route with the, uh, to intercept this guy, the Eldritch Horror. So yeah, um... So we got the new Singapore shipyards, that's okay. Uh, probably have to make this one as a new home base. Um, I don't know. Maybe uh, um, Finn Habanis would be nice. Uh, right. I'll just. I'll just go think about it. What's there gonna be their next uh, home port? So, uh. Uh huh. Oh, wait. Let me take a look with this one. Supposedly, uh, Diego Garcia should have uh, a standing force here. So, yeah, I think. Oh, damn it. No, 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 stop. Land the armies here. So, this army's in New Gibraltar will be stationed here. Uh, we're gonna recruit some armies, probably. Construction uh, complete. This is basically a garrison force to defend the borders of UNS. So, uh, same time here, the same, uh, the new Jager Garcia habitat. Okay, so that should, uh, give us a little bit of, uh, you know, a uh, trick, I guess, to uh, defend this one. Okay, Reikyo. Oh god. Really here when I had to uh, upgrade these things. And uh, sell this one. Okay, um. Okay. Yeah, I have to upgrade all of my uh militaries here, uh, I mean the shipyards, which is needed for, uh, you know, production. Hmm. Dreadna in the first fleet. Where's the first fleet? Probably have to, uh, mix the first fleet here. Um... Okay, uh, we're just gonna have a new admiral. Oh, got Lenny O'Malley. Okay, we'll just put Lenny O'Malley 
as the new era of our UNSV fleet. Okay, so things are doing good right now. So although the progress is a bit slow, Probably uh, start the fleet yard. Okay, we're probably hiring a recruit. Uh, Feathers of Ebony. So, uh, since uh, this is a multi uh, multi uh, race and species fleet, it should only be headed by a multi space. Uh, leader or admiral, not exactly human. Even though the majority of the uh, army and navy is, uh, of course, humans. So for now, the foreign next union is doing a very prosperous. Um, we're doing a lot of uh, progress here. Even its member states are all uh, positive about it. Even though there are some member states that have a very contradicting. Uh, ethics or uh, values but uh, the foreign next union remains uh, what's this uh -huh. must be greater than equal to 150 okay I'll just buy a um, alloy here mm -hmm. stack power 181 must be true or greater than equal uh, what's this mm. okay uh Energy credits. I'll probably have to go uh, do something about the energy credits thing. It's a deal. So, okay. Goodbye. Okay, uh, my, my. I lost time here. So, I'm just going to save this one. This will be uh, UNS episode 14B. And we're going to save again this on my OBS, just as a precaution, of course. Alright, so we're going to go for the final hour now, so I'm just going to limit my uh, work sessions here for every two hours, so just not to, uh, you know, overstep on my uh, work and, uh, you know, play, uh, play game and uh uh, what do you call this social life play game uh, balance so there's not much uh, uh, well there's not much uh, there's not much progress here um, things are very slow uh, for some reason in my gameplay but that's okay I'm uh, okay with that so I just like the uh, powerhouse of the uh, uh, okay, so probably I'll be needing a few guys in Fan Habanus. Um, oh, Jesus, what's this? I'm still having some errors. Uh, well, that's okay. Um, how about the... Uh, so I still need bureaucrats and foresters and metagoras uh, specialist jobs. Hmm. Okay, I'll uh, probably have, uh, wait, um, what do you call this? Well, there's 3% of the crime, so uh, we'll probably add a few guys here. Okay, so that should settle the crime rate. Hmm. So right now we got several uh okay, let's see our market list here. We could buy some slaves and then oh there's no slaves, okay. So I guess uh everything is pretty much uh Okay. Probably I have to build another more of uh my army here, because my army's just only a thousand. This guy's uh, missed out the uh Well, 
this is our some... pioneers have made planet fall yeah I guess they landed on New Germany anyway New Mongolia is okay um, probably a good factory world actually this should be more of like a factory not a forge world but uh, uh, anyway it's okay we're cool with that um, right well, currently we got some plus four. Uh, this is the angry world, but uh, I got no idea what's this Zen world thing here. So yeah, things are pretty slow on my uh, gameplay right now. <laughs> Anyway, that's okay, because the reason why there's a slowdown is because of these allied units. Uh -huh. Okay, Hydra's thing. Alright, uh, what do we got here? Uh, second Destroyer. Okay, we'll just merge all of these, just to... Uh, Get rid of that, uh... Okay, Governor Trait. The stubbornness. Okay, so uh, Nelson Potter here. Um, okay, well that's cute. Uh, let me check on the sector list here. Uh, we should have a sector list. Uh, okay, everything here is... Uh, pretty much balance, so, uh... Okay... So, uh, our relations with the Midval are doing good since they're uh, a member of, of our, uh, uh... You know, Federation. And at the same time, uh, there are, va there are actually loyal vassals here. So we're doing good with our relations with almost all of the members of the Fornax Union, which is basically a coalition of uh, stellar nations on the western side of the Fornax galaxy. Right, uh, so there's no threats. Uh, probably the only thing that we have to do next is just wait for the treaty to expire to fully uh, launch an offensive and absorb the Uri Remnant to the uh, greater good of the Fornax Union. For now, there's no signs of the crisis still appearing. Uh, it's already 2359, so which is good for me. Okay, uh, right. Um, what do we have here? Uh, what would we currently have? I'll we'll probably just put this one on a trade. Uh, you know, probably I'm just gonna put this one as a trade world or something. Yeah. I know. Science division report success. Okay, we got now the uh, dark matter reactor, which is very good, and uh, we can also go wormhole travel, enigmatic colder. Uh, we are kind of in a deadlock here, but I'm gonna go for dark matter reactors or dark matter deflectors. This is very, uh, Construction complete. you know, uh, essential. <laughs> Fantabanis obviously is gonna be trade first and then shipyard later. Uh, off while trading. Um, okay, so I'll just probably have to, uh, Okay, I'm just gonna go for dark marker reactors. Uh, save. Okay, that's good. Uh, you know, the thing here is that you ha I have to manually customize my ship because if you let it, uh, the computer. Uh, you know, 
if you let the computer or the AI here uh, do the uh, work for you, there's a possibility that the computer might sabotage your, uh, you know, your uh, gameplay, which happened to me, uh, I think, on this game or on my other uh, playthrough. I was, uh, I did let the uh, AI do a full autonomy on my. Uh, gameplay and then I found out uh, later on mid game it turns out that the uh, computer here was uh, more like actively sabotaging my, uh, my gameplay and that's a big no no for me so uh, as a rule here in Stellaris you have to manually uh, you know micromanage everything here especially in uh, ship construction because uh, the AI sometimes uh, like I said intentionally sabotages my gameplay and uh, I'm not very fond of that kind of thing okay there we go so we got installed several bell uh wait okay well we're just gonna save this one Okay, so this one's automatically. Okay, defense platforms. Yeah, okay, I think we're good with this. Okay, so let's continue. Um, okay, uh... Yeah, we'll probably, uh... Oh, okay. Still need 23 influence points. Okay, second fleet to the murder of Katawa. Yeah, that's a funny name for a fleet. Uh, great. Okay, hopefully our four next Union fleet here is strong enough to fight this Eldritch Horror. And, uh, who knows, might, uh, held some secrets. Okay, Azofi has been, uh, deployed. So I'm just gonna hire this guy, Ursula. Zager to, uh, be deployed here. Hopefully it will, uh, oh, I guess it will take him a year. <laughs> okay, new Micronesia, what do we got? Uh, this is a refinery world, so uh, it's pretty normal that we have chemical plant. Yeah, we probably have to double down on refineries here. Refineries and alloys. <laughs> Uh, speaking of which, oh, okay, I still uh, lack, uh, you know, I have to have a minimum of 150 influence uh, points here. Uh, what's this? New Netherlands. Yeah, I think the main thing here is that we have to have a, some sort of established uh, star base here in this area. It's more like as a, think of it as a control point in case of any invading, uh, any invading armies or forces on down the south. Okay, we got 5k. That's a lot of uh, troops. But we need 7k at least. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we need to capture this one. So I have to set this guy. Hmm. Okay, so it's probably I have to put this one up here. Well, I'll probably have to uh, move now the. Uh okay. Oh, I already got New Spain. Okay, uh... 
Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, hopefully I don't have uh, end up uh, doing double, uh, you know, double namings here because it will get, uh, you know, uh, confusing. <laughs> okay. Uh, right. Uh, what's our next move here? We're still producing a few. Uh, oh. Okay. Wait. Wait. Uh, we're still producing a few soldiers up here. Now, uh, okay, uh, one of our former colonies has established some sort of uh, branch office. Okay, fine with me. Oh god, why, why does it have... You know, I, I'm really annoyed that... Uh, Special project complete. Our scientific messenger has successfully lowering energy barrier to cover the planet. When it disappeared, we discovered a mothballed barrel fleet slowly drifting in low orbit above the other significant rock. Some kind of naval reserve fleet by the Orient or Oritonians. Okay, that's the name of the Uri remnant, the Oritonians, thousands of years ago during the zenith of their ancient empire. With the passage of time, the Oritonians must have lost the knowledge to lower the barrier themselves, or their ships would have been used by Wall Street own fleets. Yeah. It's uh, very dangerous. We should, uh, you know, man those ships anyway. Mm. I don't know where I'm gonna put them, but I probably have to put them here. Okay. Um. Whew, okay, this is a thing now. All right, new Bahrain. Check crime rates here. I think I got the. Uh, uh, where was I? I, I was, uh, you know, trying to manage a world here that has a high crime rate. Uh huh. Anyway, I'll probably have to uh, take a look on that anyway. Hmm, urban world, so we'll probably have to go with the trade again. Or, uh, I don't know, maybe a forge world or something. Okay, let's just upgrade a few stuff here. This is mostly a mining world. Um, Japan is basically a tech world, or supposedly supposed to be a tech world. Uh. Kill centrals join the galactic community. Uh, I haven't heard of that. Okay, so pretty much everything is uh, settled in the Fornax Union. Okay, uh, right, we're just. Okay, it's now Fornax Union Fleet, 100,000 strong, enough to battle the uh, Eldritch Horror. So uh, let's start before we end the battle here. Uh, I mean, we before, uh, just to make sure that, uh, you know, we have something to uh, write on the story. Now we toss this thing. So it's a so the Fornax Union has assembled a large battle group to battle that uh, Eldritch Horror. So uh, yeah, we'll just go. Uh, you know, we'll just go. Uh, yeah, this is more more like a, a good style. Okay, so I'm just gonna use this one as a. Uh, you know, footage. 
Okay, so I guess that's enough. Uh, okay, that's around 106. I've got some tomb worlds here, unfortunately. Kohama. Well, probably I'll have to designate this one as a uh, fortress world, I guess. Uh, isolated fortress world. Colonize it with this one, Dorothy Frime. And uh, Kohama. Colonize this one as. Uh, Kohama, Dorfield Kohama, Kohoma. So yeah, we're not gonna over expand here. We're just uh, gonna send a robotic uh, fleet there. The first UNS fleet is uh, kind of lagging with this one. <laughs> Yeah, I probably have designated this one as two fortress worlds on the tomb world here. That will be their main designation anyway. Or I could designate a fortress world somewhere here. All that I need right now is just uh Oh god, where's my uh, construction ship? Oh, god, what the Okay, I'm just gonna go cancel this one, and uh, they have to go here. Four six four. That's gonna take a while, but uh, okay. Uh huh. So I'll just have to wait and uh, see for the results. So within 45 days, the Fornax Union fleet will be engaging the uh, the uh, Eldritch Horror in this system. Honestly, I, I don't know what kind of Eldritch Horror is this one. But it did destroy a lot of... Uh, turned the three suns here into black holes, so... Uh, collapsed it almost everything. And it even has a funny name, Now It Off. So, uh, let's take a look on this. Uh-huh, where I go? Uh, let me take my fleet manager here. Oh, wait, wait, instead of uh, doing the fleet manager, I probably have to uh, check my uh, shipyards anyway. Uh, ship hearts is basically the important thing in the UNS right now. It's a priority because we need those complete. shipyards up and running to produce uh, ships. So we got nine shipyards here. Special project complete. The X has returned. As soon as our Lord Danger and Battle has branded, we will be sent a system. Uh, being hit accompanied by a famous the word freedom. Oh my god. What is this? Encounter in Berzun Alpha Aliens. Right. Tracking spaceborne life form. Okay, just give me a moment here. We're just gonna mobilize the first fleet and the U fifth UNS fleet. Fortunately, we got the uh, Dragon Spearhead uh, fleet on standby. Uh... Oh, for aliens. Well, we have no idea what are they, but uh, we're not gonna, you know. Alright, uh, the Fornax Union fleet now has engaged this guy. So, uh, let's uh, check how the battle ends up here. Oh, it's an Eldritch Horror. Okay. Right, so one ship has already been uh, taken down. Okay, so this is interesting. Okay, so I 
guess uh, yeah task let's just put in on the story that the UNS assemble a task force to battle this uh, Eldritch for several battleships were uh, already assigned here so let's go Okay, uh, I guess that's a little bit, uh, <laughs> Okay, we're doing good here. Okay, well that's a little bit the bummer, so I'll just probably have to take on the footage for several seconds. Well, I guess the footage is good enough. We have a very strong fleet anyway. Uh, we got four battleships and uh, several frigates and cruisers, I guess. Ram says, yeah, cruisers. And we're, we got the Frigate class here already engaging this Eldritch Horror. So, uh... Huh. Contact with an unknown entity. Uh, we're not gonna go with that. Eldritch Horrors, yes. Yeah, so, so we're kinda... engaged in multiple battles here. Um, Okay, first to respond here is the 5th UNS fleet. Let me take a look. Yeah, so, uh... It's basically an all-frigate, uh, unfortunately, all, it's an all-frigate, uh... All-frigate and Corvette, uh, fleet. So we're currently battling them in Uri, uh, Uritonian space. Or Uri Remnant space. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so that should be the good, uh, uh that should be a good film. Okay, so I guess that's enough. Uh, Alright, so they're not really that uh, strong. They're just only 2,400. Not much of a... Oh, okay. Gateway has been activated. That's good. Okay, just... Uh, Just basically just uh, kill that. Oh, yeah, yeah, they no longer exist. We just basically eliminated them. Now for the Eldritch, it seems that the uh, Fornax Union fleet is still. Oh my, it's very powerful. Still currently, uh, you're not bad, they have its own lasers. So, uh, yeah, it's very problematic. So we got the first UNS fleet on the rescue with Yume Yamazaki, or Admiral Yume Yamazaki. In the meantime, I'm gonna upgrade my, uh... Um, yeah, I'm just gonna upgrade my alloys here. So 
so we are now on population 1010 probably a trillion I guess or 1 trillion uh, I don't know I'm not exactly familiar with the exact population count per pop <laughs> Okay, we'll just, uh, put this one here. Okay, so we got seven years preparation, I guess, just to battle the, uh, Uri remnant here. Or at least, uh, for them to re, uh, join the, uh, Fornax Union fold. So it's a long-standing uh, conflict uh, between the Uri Remnant and the uh, Fornax Union, or basically as what we call it, the UNS. So, uh, yeah. Okay, uh, right, I'm just gonna adjust my camera here a little. Okay, there we go. I guess, uh... Okay, well, what do we have here? <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, okay, so just give me a second here. All right, uh, all right, uh, oh, good. Right, um, okay, so we're doing a little Construction bit, Construction uh, complete. Okay, so I guess it's, uh... Uh, just give me a moment. We're probably moving on to the last 30 minutes of our, uh, recorded Let's Play. Whew, this was a very long gameplay. <laughs> Two hours seems to be, uh, seems like a very, uh... Yeah, it seems like forever, to be honest. Okay, and now we should maximize our uh, factory here. Um, there should be some sort of uh, orbital... Uh, okay, cooperative research channels, automatic resettlement chance 100%. Uh, orbital shield generator, not logistics. There should be some sort of forge here. Okay, this is good. The malignant entity which attempted to breach our universe near now it now it all has been banished back to its own. Only time will tell if it will be sufficiently weakened to keep it there for good. We are detecting some kind of anomalous residual energy that must have been left behind by the dimensional rips the creature opened. Studying this energy would cause it would potentially lead to scientific breakthroughs. Okay, so uh, right, so we sh we should have a science vessel here. Yeah, probably have to uh, put them here to study the dimensional. So UNS Azofi with Ursula Ziegler will be the first to assign mm -hmm. that and uh, investigate this uh, dimensional rift that was discovered. Whew, okay. Uh, okay. Um, let me check my edicts here. Uh, diplomatic grants. Uh, Anyway, uh, right, so Haven should probably have ascended with 63,000 uh, influence costs. I mean, okay, uh, let me check with the relics here. Uh, celebrate diversity, this should give us 15,000. However, does not have celebrate diversity modifier. Uh, okay, so uh, I guess we can't sell any artifacts right now. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Relic activation mode. Uh, huh. I guess we got uh, a lot of stuff here to take in. So for the moment, that's uh, thank you. Oh my God, I forgot. I have to save this one. Sorry. 
uh, this will be UNS episode 14C there we go and we're going to save this one on our OBS and then proceed to the final 30 minutes of this uh, recorded let's play all right there we go so we're now proceeding on our uh, final 30 minutes uh, my this is really uh, you know it's really uh, what to call this uh, tenacious video <laughs> oh dear anyway um, in any case um wait 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 let me check here uh-huh so uh we got some new uh okay we got gas we got uh probably we gotta set on for crystals okay that's good um it should be a trade world a military trade world i guess Construction and, complete. Uh, New Netherlands. Uh, we'll probably have uh, some some uh, gas and New Panama. Um, we'll probably have at least uh, some sort of uh, uh, this one resource silos just to uh, boost up the. Uh, mm -hmm. You know our limits 105 uh, thousand okay that's really good new powering what's this commercial zones resource silos um new barons autokion monument will be nice it gives us uh, consumer goods, amenities, pop housing reduction, naval capacity, and governing ethics reduction. <laughs> so yeah, that's okay. Oh great, we got the new Germany and then this one is new Germany. We're just gonna rename this one new... Uh, hmm. Um, right. New Denmark, I guess. Yeah. New Denmark. Or New Sweden, maybe. Oof. Okay, uh... You know, my headset still hurts my head, so I'll probably have to change a gaming headset next time. But anyway, uh, let's continue. We're still on our final 30 minutes here. Uh huh. So we still got a fire fleet here, but it's uh, more related to the Latherpian Sons. So, uh, the Storm Riders, uh, genocidal uh, news here seems to be uh, civics. What's this? Organic reprocessing. Oh, that's not very good. I need attention pulled knowledge. Huh. Okay, well, uh, we're not gonna go through that. <laughs> so, the Midfell right now, uh, the former or once former rivals of the uh, UNS is now celebrating its uh, prosperity and peace under. Uh, what's this? Oh. So it says its own fleet. Okay, well, doesn't matter. Okay, the Four Next Union fleet will have to uh, put on repairs on it. And uh, no, I'm not gonna spend twenty nine thousand with this fleet. Okay, so the first UNS fleet, uh, we'll probably have to uh, recall them back to Reikio which is uh, the home star system of the UNS right now or the name of the uh, 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 what do you call this the star base in the UNS we have claimed a new world okay finally this is agri world okay agriculture world well um Oh, God. Well, it's an agriculture world, so uh, 
we'll probably have to uh, clear some stuff here and then three two three and then the rest will probably be farmers um to make the world so right now we're gonna go build this one and then uh I don't know, maybe build this, the sinks, and then uh, build commercial zones. But this is an agricultural world, so... Uh, mm, hmm. Agricultural world, I can't think of any agricultural world. How about New Iceland? New Iceland, no, it's not a New Iceland. Uh, hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna name this one New Korea. Okay. So that's a good name anyway. So I'll probably go for Asian countries right now. Mm -hmm. It's an angry world. Uh, Right. Uh. So we're having a lot of habitats right now, so we are now spreading. The UNS has already spread to 39 habitable worlds. Oh, what's this? The elder... Yeah, the elder one. Okay, well, we're going for... Elder one. We we don't know what's the elder one, but New Lebanon seems to be a good place with the 62 population. Yeah, we're gonna encourage it. Elder one on the horrific inverse. Focusing on horrific inverse mass we secured would be very visual. Okay, that's good. New Lebanon. So, uh, are there any more? Um, Okay, so it's just only New Lebanon. So that's good. <laughs> okay, so I guess the main title of this is the Mass Inverted uh, mission so I'm just probably have to uh, write this one on episode 14 of UNS okay New Oklahoma and New Umui UNS Brazilian UNS Olympus so this will be probably be the uh, fortress worlds or secret fortress world or probably a tech world and a fortress world at the same time it's very remote area <laughs> a very remote area in UNS space. Uh, okay, so I've already got 255. Um, however, where is one of my civilian vessels here? Specifically, um, construction ship. Uh, no, uh, okay, we're just gonna close the gap here, I guess. Uh, uh, right, uh, I'm gonna say this one with all I explore. So I'll probably have to, uh, Alarm. Hmm. We'll probably have to order this one to build. Oh, God. Yeah, I guess the most uh, obvious thing here is I have to build an artificial habitat base here. Okay. All right. That's good. Uh, we got an artificial. Uh, at least an artificial fortress world here to, uh, you know, uh, to guard the UNS borders here in this area. Um, 
aside from that, that's the uh, only thing that... Uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff I have to record here for the two-hour run here. Okay, <laughs> so uh, where's the... F oh, great. My... Uh, oh. You know, I still got a lot of mess. Uh huh. Already a full shrink at 150. I probably have to check this one. A second, you. Oh, what's this? What's this? Uh, scientist Elena Russo. Okay. Well, that's okay. Uh, second year in his fleet. Uh, well, it's 84 out of 150. Frigate destroyer, destroyer, cruiser, cruiser, cruiser. Yeah, I guess we're gonna add uh, two, three, four, five. Okay, um, cruisers, cruisers. Okay, so we got an equal number of cruisers here. Uh huh. So how about uh, one bell? Oh, okay. Right. Okay, so we're just gonna reinforce this one. Uh huh. Okay, well. okay, Federation has been unlocked. New perks are now active, so let's see what is the new... So we could centralize it. Uh, we could get the new uh, succession type of... Vote yes, so that's gonna be a new law. Uh, 40 years would be nice. Yeah, 40 years, everybody likes it. No, we're just gonna go for 10 years. Or a uh, challenge. Uh, you don't like challenge, so we're just gonna make this one uh, 20 years, 30 years. And subjects join, yes. Uh, unanimous vote. Uh, this is not very good. Uh, invite members, yes. We can go for majority vote. We need to expand our members anyway. Uh, war declaration will probably be... Yeah, we're gonna go for majority, uh, unanimous vote. So that we, the foreign action you could not be easily dragged in a war, so it has to be an unanimous vote. Hmm. Okay. Alright, um... Still, could we change this one to some sort of trade league? No, unfortunately. But, we got since, uh, we're now on level 2, so we got some perks here. Officer exchange, veteran capacity is plus 25% more. Ship speed uh, will be 10%. Uh, and uh, sphere of influence, claim influence will be negative 10. So, it's a lot more perks. <coughs> oh. Okay, well, this is a... Uh, Anyway, um, yeah. The sixth fleet, the first fleet. We've got so many fleets here that are not. Yeah, I yeah, probably have to. Uh, 
Oh god, um, uh, I got so many fleets here that it's really messing up my... I wish there was some sort of organizer here. Yeah, I'll probably put the rendezvous point probably on... Uh, I don't know, maybe I'll just put the rendezvous point here in New Denmark. So, industrial area, huh? Industrial area... Yeah, I'll probably rename this one. It's now New Taiwan. It is uh, Taiwan currently is the center of uh, semiconductors. Uh, so just a little bit of info. So just since this will be a consumer goods related world, so they're probably going to be the center of that as well. So that's going to be a new Taiwan. Uh -huh. So we'll just assign a general here. Well, Jennifer Dieter Klein will be me. Wait, uh... Yeah. So he's the one who's gonna be assigned with the uh, UNS military. Or the UNS army to be specific. Uh, let's go with a little bit surveillance here. Specifically the core. Oh, okay, so we can't really, but they're, uh, they're kind of really devastated right now. Okay, that's okay, we can live with that. Um, probably have to build another set of armies, I guess. Mm, okay, so I'll just uh, recruit my army here. Wait, uh... I'll just build a huge army, I guess. Ten each. One, uh, one. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Okay, so we're just gonna recruit multiple armies here. It's a major army recruiting center now for UNS. So I'm just gonna write that down uh, uh, canon-wise on the story. Uh, it's also a major headquarters now for the UNS army. And it's open to all... Uh, uh, I don't know. Maybe open to all races, I guess. For, for, for soldiers. Since we've already opened... Uh, So I guess that's uh Okay. So uh, I guess we're just gonna build a huge army in Fen Habanas this one. So I'll make it at least uh you know in case of uh, any wars. So it's already twenty three sixty one, so uh calendar wise it's uh story wise it's a bit slow because of uh, my PC now. But uh yeah. Okay, uh what are we gonna do next? Yeah, it's also we gonna be a... a new world. Okay, cap system, generator world. Uh, okay, what's gonna be a new generator world here? Um, Asia, okay. Well, it's gonna be a generator world, so... Uh, Okay, I'll just decide this one later. So we have uh, one, two, three, and then the rest. It's a generator world. Okay, we're just gonna build. Uh huh, and then uh, this one. Spaceborne life form. Okay, so generator well, what could I have think about that produces energy? Hmm. 
Uh, right. Uh, uh, right. Yeah, I'm just gonna name this one New Borneo or something. Or New Brunei, I think. Oh, New Myanmar. New Myanmar, okay. That's okay. Good. And uh, the next one was gonna be New Thailand or something. Okay, uh, we're just gonna upgrade this one. Okay, so uh, there we go. We got uh, 10 shipyards, uh, well, you know, processing ships. So uh, that's a lot of ships. So for the moment, it's still peacetime uh, for the UNS. And uh, yeah, it's best we keep it that way. Um, yeah, I probably have to build. Oh, great. I like 51 influence points. That's nice. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, pretty much it's uh, currently. Uh, Construction yeah. complete. Uh, where is this one? Yeah, I'll probably go with this. Um, Alright. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's Finnabanus, I guess. Field engineers have cleared a blocker. New Mongolia. What's with New Mongolia? Oh, shh. Okay, so I'll probably have to go with this one. Right, uh, naval logistics, uh, we don't know. Um, naval defense, we uh, I probably have to think what to uh, do with that next. New Yidra, New Gibraltar, we have to remain an army, robotic army. Recruit, uh, oh, great. <laughs> Diego Garcia will have to have humans here as well. Um, we should also have a military base here somewhere in Sewer Hill to defend the uh, southern uh, area of uh, southern area of the uh, UNS space. Okay, uh, right now. Probably have to buy this. <laughs> okay, a uh, new Macronesia. Um, well, it's a factory, like I said. Supposed to be gas. <laughs> new Singapore. Unemployed pops. Uh, well, this is strange. Uh, we we'll probably have to. Well, restore jobs. I should do the trick. Okay, and we got 72 uh, works here. Okay, so how many alloys does this guy produce? 514. Well, that's a lot. Okay, uh, this is... Our team members have been reporting strange activity on ship transporting. Oh, the Jakamuk. Windows into the world of pure pain and destruction are just a few disturbing accounts we have received. It's believed that the mass of the Elder One is to blame. And we might rightfully worry what would happen if they were to bring the cargo to New Lebanon. Uh, now we need to study this. Contain it. We can't let this phenomenon spread. We need to study this. Yeah, New Lebanon. Mm. 
Yeah, I think we'll just uh, you know study this one and see how it works. In the meantime, we got the third UNS fleet on standby. Wait, where's the uh? Well, probably have to go for the four next Union fleet here. Here in Jukmikan something. Just in case uh, we don't know what's uh, what's happening there, so I'm just gonna order some of my uh, four next Union fleet to uh, go with this. Uh, what the hell? There is no room in the system, okay. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, let's uh, click on that. So study the dimensional rift 72%. So uh, while Eunice Azofi headed by Ursula Ziegler will, uh, you know, uh, will probably uh, study this one. I guess there's not much danger here, so probably have to retransfer the third fleet to Juta uh, Kanjuklamik system. Oh, that's really a mouthful, to be honest. Uh huh. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so we got a lot of movement here. Um, uh huh. Where's the sixth fleet? Oh, okay, the six fleet will probably just have to reinforce them. Six UNS fleet. They will now be renamed officially six UNS. We got the second, the sixth, and the uh, third. Okay, well, we keep receiving uh, lots of irregular uh, So for now, all the UNS space is heavily patrolled uh, given with the uh, military presence of the UNS um, for the moment, uh, the war with the Uri remnants is uh, very calm right now, or in the status quo. Hmm. So uh, it has keep uh, regional peace and security on the western side of the Fornax galaxy. However, for the eastern side, we don't know. We haven't established any uh, any formal. Uh, Unfortunately, formal uh, military bases here. Um, harmonious patrols, what's this? Oh, we don't know about this one. Um, I wish we could have some sort of a vassal state here on the west side of the galaxy. I mean, in the east side of the galaxy. For now, um, it's pretty much... Uh, for now, it's pretty much a uh, free space. Um, the main authority there, or the main superpower on the east side, is this Falar Kingdom, which uh, fortunately they're not. Uh, you know, there there's no disagreements with them, with the Foreign X Union or the UNS. <laughs> Special project complete. Oh, what's this? Our study of energy anomalies produced by Nova Dimension Rifts. It's finally yielded results. The energies involved in the creation of these portraits are unlike any we have ever encountered. The most intriguing are scientists theorize that it may be possible to devise a new method of interstellar travel using these exotic energies. 
Whoa, excellent. They have now gone on a jump drive on the discovery of this one. <laughs> So anyway, there we go. That will conclude our episode 14 for our UNS. So we're just going to save this one. Uh, this concludes our episode 14. Uh, I'm just going to save this one. UNS uh, episode 14D. So for those of you who are watching this, uh, thank you a lot for your uh, continued patience in watching my uh let's play session and i do apologize if i have been not been regularly updating my uh un i mean my uh let's play session uh because i was uh recently busy with my uh work but uh nonetheless i thank you very much for watching this uh recorded let's play and rest assured that this will be put in a good story and uh yeah, we'll see you around on our uh, next recorded Let's Play session. So have a great day, everyone, and see you next time. Bye-bye for now.